Assalamualaikum everybody. How are you all? In advance, first of all, I should wish you all. Oh God. Wait a minute. Okay, Omar Faraz has also joined in today. Oh, wow. Glad to see you here, Omar. All right. Glad to see all of you here, actually. Anyway. Okay, everybody, assalamu alaikum. And uh, I'm glad that you all are, uh, you all are here today. Uh, this lecture is going to be really, really short. It, it was supposed to be de delivered yesterday. And today's lesson was supposed to be a bit longer one. And today we were about to mark, uh, you know, our chapter finish, uh, the cardiovascular chapter uh, to get finished today. But um, it's okay. Inshallah, Tala, in the next class, we'll do that. Uh, for today, it will be a shorter lesson. Um, and I hope you all are preparing for your viva. Let me do this that um, let me postpone the viva in the next week you can say that um, i think that would be 11th i will post in the google classroom all right and this week i want you to learn but also enjoy a bit uh, don't go out anywhere just bring you know things home and try to cook something and you know try to celebrate the new year yes we are muslims we are not supposed to blah 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 whatever but then again we work actually according to this calendar so i think yes it's a new year and we all should have a new year's resolution all right and uh, maybe some things that we could not do in this year because of the covid so we could you know uh, uh, do it in the upcoming year whatever goals were there to achieve and all so let's start okay everybody so uh, class five, which is treatment of tachyarrhythmias, and this is technically the last class of antiarrhythmic drugs. I'm sure you all know about the cardiac action potential now by heart, uh, because that is one thing I will be focusing in the viva. This you must know, and I will actually, uh, you know, uh, have this thing also, have this diagram also displayed on my screen while taking your viva and i will ask you that if i'm giving a class one drug so what will be affected would it be qrn complex or would it be the qt segment okay so questions like these would be asked i also uh, gifted you all uh, an mcq workbook if you, uh, not it, it wasn't a workbook it was a book actually an mcq workbook so I want you all to please solve that book also, all right, uh, in order to get uh, grasp the topic fluently. Okay, so let's talk about it. Here, we are treating the tachyarrhythmias, okay? Tachyarrhythmias are there when the heartbeat is really fast. So you see, adenosine acts through a specific purinergic uh, oh receptor. Okay, so what is this purinergic receptor? If you remember, uh, we talked in our uh, classes, not uh, specifically here, I don't remember if we talked in the last semester or not, but I'm sure in second year, in first year, you have learned about the purines and pyrimidines and all that, okay? So these receptors are purinergic, all right? So you can always go back and you can always look at how double uh, rings are there all right one is hexane ring and other one is the one is six carbon ring and other one is five carbon ring which are joined together so that's purine okay these are the bases all right then we have adenosine causes an increase in potassium efflux and decreases calcium influx so you see if calcium influx is decreasing uh this is decreased so obviously it will uh you know uh, hyperpolarize uh, the cardiac cells, 
all right, and decreases the calcium dependent portion of the action potential. I'm sure now you are understanding how um, how things are happening if you have followed my lectures and if you have listened to the action potential, how it works and all. So adenosine is the drug of choice for the treatment of paroxysmal uh, supraventricular tachycardia. I want you all to tell me what does supraventricular means? Because I've already told you. So I want you to tell me that. So supraventricular ta tachycardia, including those associated with Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. What is Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome? I remember, I think in my uh, third last lecture, I discussed you about it. So I want you to remind me, what is Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome? What is supraventricular tachycardia? All right. So adverse effects are relatively minor, including flushing, dizziness, and headache. I am reading. Okay, I have two messages. Okay. Haji, what is supraventricular tachycardia? What does supra mean in supraventricular? Very good, Tanzina. Uh, supra means above. Okay, so it means it. This thing is somewhere related above the ventricles. Okay, and uh, I think Samia is responding to the Wolf Parkinson by syndrome. Uh, why it's abnormally fast? Why? What's wrong in Wolf Parkinson disease? Why syndrome? Why? Do you remember what was happening in the ventricles? Uh, extra electrical pathway. Excellent, Tanzila. Excellent. Okay. Yes, yes, Mosin. We are going to talk about it. Uh, it's sad that I could not, in, uh, you know, put in the uh, image of the syndrome because I thought maybe you all have remember memorized that. Anyways, so uh, you know, uh, this Wolf Parkinson White syndrome is actually a thing in which um, you know there is abnormal uh, conduction and because of which you know uh, there are double electrical signals are being uh, placed within the ventricle and because of that you know uh, the heartbeat go wrong okay uh, i think in the last or no not last in the third last lecture i have the image over there oh, oh. wait Okay. All right. Yeah. Upper and lower chambers cause rapid heartbeat. Very good, Rabia. So you see here, this is how it's acting. You see that the uh, electrical impulse is being generated and then it's being transferred again to the atria and uh, a new pulse is also uh, a new uh, you know, electric current would also be produced to the SA node. So, uh, because of this thing, okay, uh, the heart will beat faster. Wait a minute. Let me drag my picture here. So, in Wolf Parkinson White syndrome, an extra electrical pathway between the heart upper and lower chambers cause a rapid heartbeat. The condition which is present at the birth is fairly rare. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is the thing we were talking about. Wait a minute. Let me get back to my lesson. All right, great. All right, so we have talked about it. The next drug which we want to talk about is digoxin. So it can actually control also uh, ventricular response in atrial flutter or fibrillation, right? So this was all about the class fifth of the uh, 